Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to share with you our baby's nursery transformation. This is over quite a few weeks so nothing was done quickly, but I wanted to share the whole process with you. Okay, so we're back from Lowe's and we have our three samples here that we're going to try for paint. We have two greens for the accent wall and then this is the color that we're pretty positive. I know the lighting's not good in here. Um, with that, it's going to go on the other three walls that are currently tan. So it's called creamy white, so it's just a very neutral, a little bit off white. I didn't want to have it to like be stark white in here. Um, so we're going to try creamy white. And then we got two different like dark greens to try. This is the other one. They're very, very similar. One's just a tiny bit more earthy than the other one. So let me pull out the paint sample so I can find the names. All right, they're both by Sherwin-Williams and it's the top ones that we picked. So one was soccer pitch and one is called tea shot. I like tea shot better. George likes soccer pitch better. Um, but we're going to try them both. Here's the first coat of just the light color, which I really, really love. I don't have any lights on in here because I want to see what it looked like with natural lighting. It is kind of dark in here during the day anyway. Normally, um, it gets a lot brighter at night when the sun goes down and it's coming through the window. Okay, there's the one that George likes best on top and then our white, and then there's the one that I think that I like best. They look <laughs> super, super similar. I feel like this one's just a tiny bit more earthy, and that one's the tiniest bit brighter of a green. going with for the green was the tea shot color I think that this color is so perfect for this room I love the earthy tones that it has and it didn't take much to go ahead and cover this blue wall so come back soon you are my reason boy. I know that you be you cause you're my sweetheart that we ended up going with is from Target. It's from the Stork Craft brand. I'll go ahead and put a link down below if you're interested in checking it out. It was super inexpensive and what I loved about it was that it was white which is what I knew that I wanted but I also really loved the wood accent tones that it has on the rails on top. Do you feel that I'm your missing part? That you're finally right?
repurposed quite a few pieces of furniture from our house like this dresser that used to be in our room and this little cube shelf that was in our living room just so that we didn't have to go out and buy all new stuff for him. Cause you're my sweetheart. to have a place to display his books in his room however having a full-blown bookshelf was just not really going to work with the space that we have so I ended up getting these two little bookshelves from Ikea they come in different colors but here you can see we chose white and I just wanted to be able to put a couple books out at a time and swap them out as the seasons and holidays change I didn't really know what to consider the theme of baby's room, but I knew that I wanted to incorporate some sports aspects just because that's such a big part of his dad's life and we wanted him to have some of that as well. So I found these cute little prints from Etsy. I'll have them linked down below. You can pick the different animals and different sports that you order, but I just thought these were so, so sweet and I got these little frames from Ikea. With this dresser having been used in our room, it had a couple little nicks in it, so I wanted to go ahead and touch up the paint so it was nice and fresh for baby. That is the last thing you're going to see in this video. To see the completed nursery, you'll have to stay tuned for the full nursery tour once everything is done. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to show you the final thing soon.